was filmed the same day as last week's video. So don't come for me, I'm bulk recording because I go on vacation soon. So as you can see by the title, I'm going through the process of yasification before school starts. Um, over the summer, I kind of let myself go. I kind of let myself do whatever I wanted. And I want to I wanna get back into the feeling of being like, of being the it girl, but like, whatever the masculine version of that is, I guess. So those of you who don't know, I am gender fluid. So I kind of just fluctuate. This is the list of all the things that I have to get done before school starts. Everything highlighted is like, it's, it's, it's a lot. Um, I want to give you guys a lookbook in this video, I think. I think we might do a lookbook of like different outfits that I'm going to be wearing throughout the year. Um, a haul of new clothes. This is one of them. Like this Don't Hug Me, I'm Scared shirt. It's such a good shirt! Anyways, and I got it for free. I got a lot of stuff I got to do to start this process. But number one is a haircut. So I have a haircut scheduled for this Friday. So that's three days from now. And I have a wolf cut or like, not really. Like I just have a bunch of layers, like, but it's grown out and my hair is also really greasy right now. Um, but like, I gotta get it all freshened up. I gotta get my bangs redone cause this is too long to be called bangs. Yeah. May also pick up some new makeup, I think. Yeah. We got a lot to do before school starts and I've only got like three weeks and only two of them are actually spent in my current province. So I gotta hurry this up. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta force this glow up. We're gonna do a clothing haul. So starting off with graphic tees, this is one of the three. This is by far my favorite one. It's just a monster high t-shirt. I got it from Spencer's. It's in a size large. I got this Don't Hug Me, I'm Scared t-shirt. It is also in a size large. And I got this Bratz t-shirt in a size large as well. Also from Spencer's. We have this from Huyan. But it's just this striped vest. Uh, I think it's really cute. We have this Raptors jersey. Um, and it has Grandma written on the back. And I think that's really funny. So I got that. I got that at a thrift store. And I got this at also at Urban Planet. It's from their Streetwear Society line. Then I also got a gray laced top, also from their Streetwear Society in a size medium. I got these Nevada like cargo parachute pants in the, there's like this khaki color. Um, I love them. And then finally from our dens, I have some skirts. This in an extra large, it is just a black pleated skirt, plaid pleated skirt, and it is in a size large. Hello. It has been a little while. So it is currently August 29th, the night of the supermoon. And I go back to school in a week. Like a week from today, I'll be going to sleep and waking up for school. So we gotta rush this. Anyways, here is the hair. It is kind of all over the place right now, um, but it has been a few weeks. I'm finally just adjusted to it enough so I can film like a clip, but like this is the clip for like the hair if y'all want like a 360, I guess. Like it's, it's nothing fancy. It's just a bunch of layers. Like my shortest layer is like a couple inches long. Tonight we are going to do some manifestation, spiritual stuff. Probably gonna do a face mask. I'm not sure what all I'm doing tonight, but I'll take you guys along. Gotta rush this, you gotta hurry it up. So it's been like two hours since that last clip. Now I think I'm gonna go do a face mask. You guys will see me with that on and then afterwards. And then we will do some nightly skincare, which I will show you guys my skincare routine that I'm trying to get back into. And then hopefully we will be in bed by 10 tonight and ready for bed, so. Crossing my fingers. I look so weird right now, but this is how the face mask is gonna be for the next 10 minutes. It is the Ordinary Salicylic Acid um, Clay Mask, Charcoal Clay Mask, something like that. I'll put it up on the screen here. Um, now I'm just gonna sit like this in my, 
in my bizarre state for 10 minutes and then I'll wash it off and then we will do some skincare. So for my skincare routine, I do want to talk a little bit about it first. I only started doing my skincare like during quarantine a few years ago, so that's about three years back. And it took me a long time to figure out things that worked for me because originally I just used whatever skincare by Hiram recommended. And now I fully understand that every skin is different and has its own like qualities that you need to address. So for myself, I figured out that I kind of have like combination dry skin. Every other night, typically Sundays, Tuesdays, Thursdays, um, I will use salicylic acid from The Ordinary. But because I did a face mask tonight, I'm not going to be doing salicylic acid just because it might be a bit too much for my skin. So instead, I'm gonna go straight in with, I'm not wearing a headband. This is a headband that I stole from my mother. We're starting off with niacinamide, put a little bit into my hand and dab it all over my face. Mostly focusing on my T-zone and cheeks. Basically my whole face. Um, <laughs> but I kind of just dab it in. I find that it really helps with my pores and not clogging as often and like keeping my redness pretty tamed, which was a pretty big problem that I used to have. Like, I just had like a bunch of blackheads, which is also what the salicylic acid is for because I do have like not acne prone, but I am very prone to like blackheads, spacious filament, all that stuff. That's pretty much it. That's all I do. I I do my niacinamide, some nights I do salicylic acid, and then if I have to spot treat, I use the Clinique Acne, Ac Clinique Acne Solutions. And then for my moisturizer, because I needed a heavy moisturizer that tended to do a lot more work, but I use the Cetaphil Daily Advance Ultra Hydrating Lotion. This is intended to be more so for like a body lotion. So it's face and body, right? So I'm not crazy. But because it's non cognogen it helps not clog my pores, but it keeps my skin super moisturized because it's like a really heavy moisturizer. So essentially, I just do this every morning and every night. I need to get into the habit of using my gua sha and jade roller a lot more. I might do that tomorrow morning. But that's like the goal is to get myself back into the habit of doing skincare and then adding on the gua sha on top of that. My lip mask was still in my suitcase. Um, I use the Laneige Sleeping Lip Mask as well, just as a regular lip balm. And that is it. That is my whole skincare routine. Take out the headband. And then I'm pretty much ready for bed. Um, it is way too early for bed. But I will check in with you guys tomorrow morning for my 6am wake up call. So it is the next morning. And by morning, I mean 12 o'clock. Um, it is noon. It is not the morning anymore. Um, I just got back from grocery shopping with my mom. And while we were out shopping, I got myself this. It is the Logitech multi-device K380. And I'm going to connect it to my iPad for back to school. Essentially, I am replacing my Chromebook with my iPad Air. I have the iPad Air fifth generation. So... I kind of wanted to get a keyboard and make it easier to navigate through other websites online and it's just something that I've been needing for a while and I've been putting off. So I will do a little unboxing and then we will get into the rest of the video.
been a few hours, but now I think it's time to paint my nails. That might be it for tonight, I'm not too sure. So this is filmed a few days later and we're gonna have this be the final look of the transformation. So I start off by putting on this lip mask from Laneige, then I pin back my hair and I start putting on some blush. This is the LA Colors blush and I'll put up the specific one on the screen right now. I put it on the apples of my cheeks and then I blend it into my forehead. Some days I will do the exact same thing but with the Milani blush. Just today I wanted a lot more subtle of a look so I went with the less pigmented of the two. So next I take my um, eyebrow brush and I use it to make fake eyeliner with eyeshadow. I use the e.l.f. Silk eyeshadow palette. I use the darkest brown color to just make a little wing and bring it into my eye. I also put it on, on my lower lash line as well. the lines figured out, I will buff it out with a smudge brush. Once I have this done, I take my e.l.f. setting powder and I clean up the lines. Then I take my Milani highlighter in, in the shade Pearl and I just put it on the corners of my eyes, my cheekbones, and my nose. Then I will put on my mascara, and in this clip, um, you can kind of see it, I get really frustrated because I got mascara on my eyelid, but specifically only in where I had my, eye my eyeshadow before, so I had to completely redo that. Luckily, it ended up looking better the second time, so I was very happy that I made this mistake in the end, but it was very frustrating in the moment. Then after all of that is done, I take my Burt's Bees tinted lip balm and put that in more so in the center and smudge like smudge it out. And then I take my e.l.f. hydrating core lip balm and I put that over top. And that is the finished look. So I hope you guys like this video. And if you feel ever so inclined to subscribe, I would be so forever grateful. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.